Alright, so if you're ready to take your TikTok editing skills to the next level, today we're going to cover effects, transitions, and filters. If you're new here, my name is Angel. I'm a content creator. I created this channel to share behind the business of being an influencer and content creator and using social media to grow a business. If that interests you, go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss out on my videos. If you guys missed my previous video, I'm doing this little series on TikTok on how to upload and edit TikTok videos, especially for those who are beginner or just want to find ways to make their TikToks better. This is not advanced, so I don't want you to feel overwhelmed. So this is not for advanced tiktokers or editors of tiktok i guess <laughs> but this is for beginners so i showed you guys how to upload a simple basic tiktok in my previous video this video i'm gonna show you how to add some effects and transitions and some filters if that's what you're trying to learn today make sure to keep watching so to be simple we're just gonna keep it basic let me start my screen recording that will be helpful this tiktok is just gonna be i'm just gonna sit here and record myself for a minute okay Okay, so I just recorded a simple TikTok for teaching purposes. So with that, I'm going to add some effects, transitions, and filters on top to show you how to use them. So let's point out some buttons first. So at the very bottom of the screen, you have sounds, effects, text, and stickers, and the button next, okay? So next is when you're ready to be done with the video or if you want to save the video as a draft and come back to it later. But you can come back and add filters, effects, transitions, any of that, even if it's saved as a draft, you can do that. But what you cannot do is edit footage once it's saved as a draft. So just be wary of that when you're saving drafts. And I can go into that in another video. But, so let's talk about effects. So I'm gonna click on effects. And then if you notice at the bottom of the screen, you get a whole ton of options for effects. You got smog, gold powder, flowers, smoke. And so here is the key for effects and transitions. The length of the effect or transition that you want it will be determined by how long you hold the button, okay? You can add as many effects and as many transitions as you want. Although I advise you not to overdo it. <laughs> Because you people be like, what am I watching? But yeah, sometimes not having an effect for the whole video is not bad. But the length of time that you want the effect to apply on the video, you will hold it that length of time. I'm going to give you an example. So I'm going to apply hearts, right? So I'm going to hit heart and I'm going to hold it. And watch as I hold it, you're going to see a little colored line come across my footage. Okay, so I'm going to hold heart. It's green. You see the green line moving? That means this is how long I want this effect to last on my video. If you want it for the whole video, you just make sure it's green for the whole video footage. If you want to undo an effect, you click the little undo button and it removes it completely. Now, let's say in different areas of this piece of footage, I wanted to add hearts. So again, you hold it down for how long you want it to last and then you lift up your finger when you want it to stop so i'm gonna hold it for maybe three seconds and place it about five times throughout the video okay so ready one two three i'm gonna let it go i'm gonna hit play um i'll stop it there i want hearts to go again there i'm gonna hold it again three seconds one two three I'm gonna lift up and then i'm gonna play it i'm gonna put a little more hearts right here and i'm gonna say one two three and you get the drift so you can hold it and we'll play the whole thing so you can see how it looks so oh. so I'm gonna bring the line back and you see it playing without with hearts without with hearts without so that's how you apply an effect and the transitions is the exact same way now if I want to take these off again I'm gonna hit undo and when you hit undo it takes off effect by effect by effect so in your last order so i'm hit it once and you're gonna see that last effect get removed okay there you go the last effect removed if i want to remove the second one i'm gonna hit undo again it's gonna undo that one and then if i want to undo the first one i will hit undo again so it goes in like chronological order with effects and transitions and so i'm gonna hit transitions so let's say with slip so if i hit it one time the transition applies one time if i hit it again it'll do it again so with transitions you hit the transitions as many times as you want it to apply so 
I mean, you slip, and if you want it to go back to back, you just, you know, keep hitting it. So watch it. <laughs> it's a lot, right? But that's how you do it. Now, if you just want it to apply one time, you just hit it one time wherever you want it. If you want it somewhere else on your line, you move it to where you want it, and then you hit slip. So, and if you don't like any of those, you just hit undo. And it just undoes each transition that you incorporated. So you can move your little slider here to wherever you want the transition to apply. So let's say here, I want that to apply. That's how it goes. See? Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead, for example purposes, use the two transitions on here. Okay, I'm gonna hit save. So to go to the next screen, you hit save. And then to apply a filter, you see the little button at the top right hand corner of the screen. Those are for your filters. And if you scroll through the bottom down here, there are tons of filters you can do. Now let's see, let's say you like a filter, right? Um, let's say this, I wanna use this V11, but it's just a little bit too much. So you see that little, red line up top with the little dot and it's at a hundred percent so that means the filter is applied at a hundred percent you can tone it down if you want the way to tone it down is you take your finger and move the dot along the line and as you can see it tones it down you can go down to 20 30 50 60 70 you can tone it down and you can do this with any filter I say with v10 I wanted to tone it down you can move that along the line so there you go you can take whatever filter you want and do that with. And then when you're done, you just click off of it and the filter is applied. So this is a video with some transitions and a filter on it. And so that is the basic way to add in effects, transitions, and filters on TikTok. It's not too complicated, but you guys can be very creative. So I just wanted to show you how to add on simple steps, basic steps, to advance your TikTok skills. So if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. So in the upcoming videos, I will show you guys how to add some music and some voiceovers to your TikTok. And I'll also show you guys my hack for adding text overlays to my TikToks. So I'll see you guys in my next video.